will I get BV if I masturbate? And it's fascinating because we get um, these questions all the time. Will I get a yeast infection? Will I get an STI if I masturbate or especially if I penetrate my own vagina with a sex toy? Mm -hmm. This is a big one. Or if I use a vibrator. Mm -hmm. And I think it all falls under pleasure anxiety. Mm -hmm. So it does. It definitely does. So Carolyn, like answer the question. Like, will you, is there like one answer? Um, Yes. The answer (laughs) is no. (laughs) Right. All right. right. (laughs) You don't get um, BV or STIs or yeast infections from using your own washed, clean hands touching yourself Mm -hmm. or using a sex toy that is glass or stainless steel, something that isn't porous that you've also washed with soap and water and using some organic-based lubricant like an Mm -hmm. oil or even Mm -hmm. a... You won't get an infection. The vagina is made for penetration and your body with the internal clitoris is made for pleasure and orgasm. Exactly. So, you know, I think that those thoughts that, you know, oh no, I can't masturbate because it keeps us stuck in partner sex. It's pleasure anxiety. It's it's all about keeping us from giving ourselves pleasure and achieving independent orgasm. It's keeping us stuck in that partner sex model. And I've got to tell you, Carlin, the only time I have ever gotten a yeast infection has been when I've been with partners. So I've I've never gotten a bacterial infection or a yeast infection from when I've masturbated with dildos. I mean, you know, think about a penis. Like my dildo's cleaner than a penis. It is. uh, A partner's going to have a natural bacterial microbe all over him, Mm -hmm. right? Then they have pubic hair that holds things. Right. Then there could be a little urine on the penis that's dried. And then if you're having fluid bonded partner sex, they're ejaculating. Everything that's in their body is now Mm -hmm. inside of you. Yes. I had a a gynecologist once term it. He said, well, you're getting used to your partner's body when when I had uh, a bacterial infection. So, you know, he didn't discourage me from partner sex, but, you know, there was kind of this caveat, you know, blanket. So, I mean, it happens with partner sex. I would say the safest sex and the best sex is masturbation, the sex that you have with yourself. You you can clean your sex toys. Um, Yeah. Break that down, Carlin, with what you do with cleaning your sex toys. Basically, it's soap and water. You don't have to get any special cleaners and don't use something like bleach. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're sharing sex toys with other people... But I mean, that's advanced stuff. You would maybe Clorox wipe something and then wash it with soap and water because you don't want any of those harsh chemicals on your skin. So what I do with my barbell or I have a glass dildo that I prefer Mm -hmm. after I'm done, soap and water, clean it, towel dry it. And then I have in my nightstand, the top drawer, Mm -hmm. a towel in there and I lay my sex toys in there. I don't like putting my sex toys in pouches Mm -hmm. because there's no light and there's no air. And it can get warm and things can, I don't know. I just don't feel, then you have to wash the pouch, right? It's just like silverware or anything else in a drawer, right? Open air. And Mm -hmm. um, with my wand, I just put some soap and water on the head Mm -hmm. and I put it under the stream of water, but I don't let it hit any of the electronics. So I just, and you could do it with a wash rag. Right. Um, And never had a problem. In all our years of doing workshops, a woman never got as much as a yeast infection. Yes. Yes. Ever. I do the same. I keep my sex toys in a drawer. Um, Now, if I'm taking them somewhere, I will put them like in a little pouch, but that's temporary. Um, I just wipe them down. Sometimes I wipe them down the next day. Um, you know, cause you know, I'm all relaxed. I'm not going to jump up and wash my sex toy. Um, but I will, I will definitely wash dildos before I insert them again. You know, and you just let them dry, air dry. Um, I don't use Clorox wipes on them cause I don't want that in my vagina. No. And just remember the vagina is acidic. 
-hmm. Okay. It kills lots of things because that's why we're all here, right? Yeah. Because if you didn't, you know, sperm is alkaline and the vagina is acidic. Mm -hmm. And so really the vagina is a self-cleaning organ. Right. Our body is so amazing. I mean, you know, it really and truly is. We don't have to douche. You know, not, you don't want to disrupt that natural flora and fauna of your vagina and of your genitals. Um, you know, soap and water on your vulva, soap and water on your sex toys. That's all you need. That's all you need. And really, when we have an orgasm, we touch ourselves and we just get the, you know, it's a mucous membrane in our vagina. So we have those little glands that lubricate. And so when we can aerate the vagina and we can have a nice orgasm, which sends a little wave through our pelvic floor muscle, it really is um, health and wellness. It's like mm -hmm. the, the most basic foundation mm -hmm. of our wellness is lighting up our pleasure system cycling all those pleasure hormones and nothing bad can ever happen.